Amen. That means that it's already uh, done. He, as His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Now, not only do we have the God-given life to us, but we have everything we need to live that life. Thank you, Lord. The God, the God kind of life in the Greek is Zoe. When Jesus said in John 10 and 10, I come that you may have life and have it more abundant, he's talking about Zoe, the God kind of life. Life lived as God lived. Amen. Glory. I've read all through the Bible. <laughs> and I can't find where Jesus was sick at any time. Nope. Never was. Nope. See, that's how we're to be. Doesn't mean you won't be attacked. Right. You understand? It doesn't mean that the attack won't come, but it means that we have to overcome the attack. We all are attacked. Right. Now, don't misinterpret you and I doing something crazy and hurting ourselves. Uh -huh. You know, and God, and you can receive healing from that too. But I'm talking about sickness and disease coming on us and people dying of cancer and people dying of AIDS. Amen. You don't have to as a believer. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. We have we have been given to us power so that we can and, and everything that pertains to the God kind of life and is given to us through the knowledge of Him. Verse four says, three says, who calls us by glory and virtue. See, you got to know who you are. You got to know when these attacks come. You got to recognize that they're from the devil, and I got authority over. But well, the first thing we do is blame God. God is God is testing me. God wants to see if my faith is there. He put this sickness on me. Well, if He did it, don't find it. <laughs> Just ride it right on out. It can take you to heaven, so God wanted you in heaven. But as soon as it comes, first thing we do is call the doctor. Because if you really believe that God put that on you, you wouldn't even try to fight it. Because you couldn't win. You can't defeat God. Okay. But this is this is this is how we justify being in the condition that we are. God did it. God didn't do it. Jesus said the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So if those things are happening in our lives, God is not doing it. The devil is doing it. But we blame God. We put it. Some of the stuff that we say that God did, if you and I did it, they would lock us up and throw the key away. Yeah. Some of the stuff that, that, that happens to people and they blame God for, they would if you and I did it, some of us would be even electrocuted. Oh my. Put in the electric chair. So it's not God doing it. God is not a child abuser. Amen. We're his children. He's not going to abuse us. Amen. The devil abuse you. Oh yeah. And only way he can do it is that you allow it. And the reason why most people allow it is because they don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. That knowledge, that 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 relationship that, that they should have with God, they don't have. Mm -hmm. That's why you can blame God for things that the devil is doing because you don't have that relationship. The same kind of relationship that we have with our human people, our spouses, our children. Like, could nobody walk up to Wendy? I'm speaking on Wendy now. And tell Wendy something about Mike that she knows is not true because she has a relationship. That's right. 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 So she know she she know who Mike is and his character and how he behaves yep. because they've been in a relationship. Well, we should be the same way. We shouldn't listen to people telling us stuff about our father when we know that that's not his nature. That's right. Amen. right. Amen. But we don't know that, that, that that's not his nature because we don't spend time. We don't develop a relationship with God. You can talk to God all day, every day. That's right. You don't have to be in a certain posture to talk to God. Praise the Lord. My wife and I have a relationship, and I'm not going to talk to her on my knees. Now, there's time when I may have to. <laughs> but I'm not going to stay in that place. I can talk to her all day, anytime. Again, why? Because we have a relationship. But that's how we need to be with Father God. You need to talk. Now, there should be a time when you got set aside, where you spend quiet time with Him, but you can talk to Him in the midst of a shop, in the shopping center. Mm -hmm. You can talk to him while you're on the highway. He wants to fellowship with us. Right. Now I'm going to say something here. Uh, that 
religion really going to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in sin, that sin doesn't stop him from coming to you. That sin doesn't stop your fellowship with God. Uh -huh. What that sin does, it doesn't stop God from fellowshipping with you, but it stops you right. from fellowshipping with God. Because right. every sin has been taken care of. Amen. A good example is Adam. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay? And we've been restored back in relationship like Adam had, okay? Amen. A good example, Adam used to, the Bible says that God used to come in the cool of the day and talk to Adam. After Adam sinned, God didn't stop coming. He still came. Yeah. Yeah. But the sin caused Adam to hide from God. Amen. Amen. Right. It caused Adam to turn from God. Right. God didn't turn for Adam, didn't yeah. turn away his relationship. He still wanted to follow him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? But because Adam knew he had sinned, he hid. So sin doesn't turn God away from us. It turns us away from God because Jesus has taken care of sin. When God looks at you and I, he doesn't see the sin. Amen. He sees the blood of Jesus. Blood. 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 Yeah. blood. The blood is a Thank sister. You. Thank you. Know, you. I used to sift flour. Hallelujah. And give it, well, y'all young folks will remember that. We used to sift flour and get all the bad out of the flour and just the good be left. Well, that's what the blood does. It sifts the sin. When God looks at you, he don't see the sin. Hallelujah. Jesus has already taken care of the sin. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So God has come. His arm is always open. His, he's always calling us to come into his book. Yeah. But when we get caught up in sin, it pushes us away from him. Right. Uh -huh. It stops you. People stop reading the Bible. They stop coming to church because they think, oh, what? Condemnation is taking over. Yeah. Brother Chuck yeah. did a teaching Thursday yeah. Yeah. on condemnation. Con we, there's not Romans 8 and 1 says there's not no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the 